Hello everyone, my name is Jin Young Kim. This year, I'd like to recall one of the good memories that I enjoyed with my family at the zoo last summer. If you don't mind, I'd like to start by saying something about my three-year-old daughter. Since I got married a little late compared to my friends, she is the apple of my eye. Whenever she tags along with us to the market or other places outside, all the people that we meet always tell us that she is the speeding image of me. I love to hear that, but my wife easily gets jealous or even pissed off every time she hears it. I'm really grateful for the, all the blessings that God has given me in my life. I often used to regard myself as a person who was not entitled to have such an adorable baby and wise wife. In any case, let's cut to the chase. Starting from early this year, my baby showed her deep interest in animals. We discovered this interest through many picture-based books that she adores. So we decided to take her to a zoo near my house. To tell you the truth, we were very worried at first because most of the real animals in the zoo are big and not like the ones she sees in her books. We thought she would be scared and start to cry especially when a lion or a tiger appeared close to her. You know what happened? Our fears turned out to be utterly groundless. She loved to watch almost all kinds of animals and even tried to touch and feed them. What she liked the most was a group of giraffes and elephants. Just out of curiosity, I asked her why they are her cup of tea. Her answer was that their long necks and noses looked really funny. She imitated their gestures for a fairly long time. These days, I as, as I get older, I do think about what real happiness means and where it lies. From this small but precious moment with my family, I realized again that happiness is not far away but nearby. My wish for my daughter is, like all parents, that she grows well and have a meaningful life, not only for herself but also for her neighbors. I sincerely hope all of you have a happy life with your loved ones as well. Thank you for reading and watching my summer story to the end. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.